Farming opened up a different lifestyle for me. We were bitten by the gardening and the farming bug. It just promotes health and it promotes healthy minds and bodies. I became involved in this because I became very ill in 2013. Um, I was diagnosed with having mercury, a mercury toxicity that was destroying my immune system. Um, I was diagnosed with um, just a laundry list of things and it was all diet related. I um, locked myself in my house for six months and ate nothing except farm food. And then when I went to the doctor six months later, he was just amazed. Ever since I changed my diet, uh, things, my health has been superior. From then on, I've just kind of been inspired uh, to maintain that. We transition people from conventional foods to sustainably grown foods. We're buying vegetables and tools and uh, using it to, uh, in any way that we can enhance the development of farms and enhance the availability to food. We provide training for young parents. We provide healthier foods. We hold healthier eating events where we go into communities. We have a, a cook that prepares farm food and we invite people out to eat it so that they will learn that it does taste better. It's interesting that in an agricultural state such as North Carolina that uh, we are not growing food. When we look at all of the serious insecurities around the world, when we look at our health, and we look at all of the impurities that are, that's in food, uh, when we look at what a garden can do to a community, how it begins to bring people out. We have some trailers and we go into low-income, low-access neighborhoods and we take the food, the farm products into those neighborhoods and sell them to people. So a person can get a week's worth of food from one of these trailers and spend less than $100. We want those individuals to learn how to use this farm as a job, as a means for providing for their family, to say that I can grow squash and I can take that squash to the farmer's market and I can feed my family. I'm um, hoping to kind of get my own farm one day and start off. The most wonderful thing that could have happened to me in my retirement is to be uh, a farmer. <laughs> I like being a farmer. <laughs>